But even Flock, what's up, man? It's Gabe with Dylan Fan TV. Back at you with the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. And uh, yeah, we gotta talk about it, man. The Ravens make their first move of the offseason is regarding the wide receiver position. And that is signing former Patriots wide receiver uh, Nelson Aguilar to a one-year deal. All right, let's get into the sign. Let's break it down. All right. One-year deal, $3.25 million. Another $3 million in incentives. If he was to hit all these incentives, we're talking about a $6.25 million signing uh, for one season. Uh, he was on a visit recently with the Ravens. I talked about it in the previous video. And that visit turned into a signing uh, a couple of days later. And that's where we are right now. All right. Now, let's talk about Nelson Aguilar, um, the player. Okay. Um, he has a history with T. Martin, Ravens QB coach. Uh, they were both at USC while T. Martin was there being officer coordinator and numerous other roles that he was that that he uh, held by at USC. And, um, you know, he was a player there. Uh, Nelson Aguilar was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the first round in 2014 draft, um, number 20 overall. All right. Nelson Aguilar will also be 30 years old coming into this season. So, all right. Um, it kind of fits a lot of Ravens criteria. 30 years old, uh, let go by the previous team. Uh, sign for a contract that's not too expensive, that's not going to break the bank, and they're going to try to draw whatever they can out of them, all right? Uh, the two best seasons also in Aguilar's career. All right, 2017 with the Eagles, he had 62 catches, 768 yards, eight touchdowns, about 12 yards a catch, okay? 2020 with the Las Vegas Raiders was the best year of his career. 48 catches, 896 yards, eight touchdowns, um, 19 yards a catch. So that was by far his probably his most productive year as an NFL player. All right. Big time explosive weapon right there. Okay. In that season. Now, what I'll have to say about the signing for the Ravens right now is it's lackluster and it's a little underwhelming. Um, probably very underwhelming, honestly. You got a guy that came from the Patriots. The Patriots are a team where everybody says they have a wide receiver problem right now. So you bring that guy to another team who has wide receiver problems. If the, uh, the motto, the motive of this offseason was to upgrade and revamp the wide receiver room. This move does not do it. It just doesn't. It just adds another body into the room. That's that's all this move does. Um, if Nuss Aguilar's right here to be two or three, bad move. Okay. Um, and this is why. Nuss Aguilar, um, while he's a decent player, it's not his fault, you know. I always say this, right? When the Ravens sign somebody, I'm a, I'm a Ravens fan, so I root for that guy to do well. So no ill will with Nelson Aguilar, nothing like that. I hope he balls out this year. Hope he has a great season. But let's talk about it in reality, okay? If I say I'm going to upgrade the wide receiver room, you signed Nelson Aguilar, you didn't do that. You just add another body to the room, all right? Devin DuVernay is not somebody who I can say Nelson Aguilar is way better than. I can't say that. If you would have said you're just going to keep Devin DuVernay and let Nelson Aguilar not be on the team, that doesn't change my opinion of the, of the wide receiver room. I wasn't going to look at the wide receiver room and say, hey, dang, we missed out on Nelson Aguilar. It just wasn't going to happen like that. So when you say I want to revamp, upgrade, improve this wide receiver room, this is not it. Now you go and you say you want Bateman, you draft the first round wide receiver, and Nelson Aguilar, <laughs> that's not a real change to the room. The Ravens should definitely draft the wide receiver in the first round. They really should. You know, the ball, the, the board falls to them the right way. I think they definitely should do it. Get a new wide receiver. Get a young wide receiver in the room. But when you want to add a veteran presence to this room, Nelson Aguilar was not the kind of guy that most Ravens fans were thinking about. That most Ravens fans had envisioned in their mind. He wasn't that guy. He just wasn't. I'm sorry. Um, once again, no offense to him, right? Um, when y'all, when you got. You could bring back Demarcus Robinson and get the same production that you got from him from Nelson Aguilar as you get from Demarcus Robinson. You get the same thing. Uh, Devin Duvernay is probably a more explosive player. He's younger than Nelson Aguilar right now, so I can't say that he upgrades the wide receiver room in any significant way. I can't say that. Um, DJ Chark is off the board. He just signed literally with the Carolina Panthers. Okay, so now there are really no free agent wide receivers out there. That can really make a legitimate difference on this team. So the Ravens, the Ravens have backed themselves into a real corner here as far as wide receiver goes. Yes, and I know Odell is technically out there, but I'm going off the assumption that him and the Jets get a deal done. All right, that's been all the reports, all the rumors. So I'm going off that assumption that they get a deal done. Okay, so that takes him off the board. And DJ Chark is not signing with the Carolina Panthers, who are loading up for that rookie quarterback, whether it's CJ Stroud or Bryce Young, they're loading up for him. All right. <laughs> 
there is no free agent wide receiver out there that has a real chance of making a, a, a distinct impact on this team. I don't count Nelson Aguilar as one of those guys. I don't. I'm sorry. There's still the trade options of Hopkins, you know, one of the Broncos talk season, whether it's Judy or Sutton. Signing Nelson Aguilar cannot stop the Ravens from making more moves at wide receiver. It just can't. If you sign Nelson Aguilar and say, this is what our move is as far as a veteran guy, you failed this offseason. I'm sorry, you just have. Um, I'm not going to go on and on and on about trash and the signing. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I will say this. I hope he does well. Like I said before, I'm a Ravens fan. I don't root for him to fail. I hope he has that breakout 1,000-yard receiving season that he's been waiting on. I hope it happens here. Is the likelihood of it happening here high? To me, no, it's not. Uh, the Ravens wanted to make real changes at the wide receiver position. So they said, this is not the move that proves that. Um, but I'm going to get out of here, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, man. And uh, let me know what you think about Nelson Aguilar. Uh, everything else is going on in this offseason. So uh, I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabriel. It's on the Fan TV. I'm out.